It has been one year since Oakland cleared out its largest homeless encampment on Wood Street and was just under the MacArthur Mace. The city closed that camp to make way for the construction of more affordable housing, and they helped relocate the people who lived there. But our Amanda Harry spoke with two former Wood Street residents who say 12 months since the eviction, they are still struggling to survive. Once home to more than 200 people, the Wood Street encampment is now a shell of what it once was. Lamonte Ford says he helped build it. At first it was nothing. Um, we've watched it grow into something phenomenal, but it's really sad because... He says they cultivated a community and it saved his life. It meant the world to me at the time. I came out here to commit suicide, but instead I found the community that's standing behind me now. It's nothing that I wouldn't do for them nothing that they wouldn't do for me. Ford says they turned other people's garbage into their homes. But since he was evicted from Wood Street one year ago, his life has deteriorated. Since then, I've been arrested. Um, my addiction has picked back up. Um, it's embarrassing to say, but being transparent helps me along the way. <laughs> He says so now his community is spread out and many are struggling. They've seen about a dozen people who once lived on Wood Street die since the eviction. <laughs> Vicki Baker is another former Wood Street resident, just struggling to get by. They expect miracles, and we're not capable of that. But if we can't be here, where can we be? <laughs> Baker now lives in an RV with all her pets on Willow Street, just a block from Wood Street. Somebody told me this was how I was going to spend my retiring years. I'd have laughed. She says she doesn't feel safe anymore. She doesn't leave her RV after dark, and she wishes this wasn't her reality. I didn't choose this. Some people have. It was not my choice. I would love to pay her. I really would. To have anything available for us after this. Ford walked through what is now left no behind on Wood Street, solution. disappointed Other by what this. he saw. The blight that you see, yeah, it sickens me. But what are we going to do with it? A lot of it is uh, illegal dumping. Ford says the city doesn't provide the encampments with dumpsters to dispose of their waste. He wishes the city let them keep the encampment. He says they were successfully providing a sense of community and mutual aid for those experiencing homelessness. Because we did reduce the numbers for arrests. We did see a decline in addictions. We did provide things for people to do. Caltrans cited safety concerns for their reason for closing this encampment, but people who used to live here say they're less safe now. When the camp closed last year, the city said that 39 people accepted shelter at cabins and 11 moved to a safe RV program. We've reached out to the city for an update on how many campers have stayed in housing and have not yet heard back.